baby sets to us math. Micah 5 teaches us what happens when a king encounters those who thought they were forgotten. Welcome to Bible Shorts. I'm Nate. I've been teaching through 25 different Christmas verses for Advent. Today's day 24. It's Christmas Eve. Thanks for being here. Let's take a look at the scripture. Micah 5 verse 2 says, But you, O Bethlehem Ephrathah, who are too little to be among the clans of Judah, from you shall come forth for me one who is to be ruler in Israel, whose coming forth is from of old, from ancient days. Have you ever forgotten something really important? Like we all have, right? It can really throw off your day when you leave your wallet or something critically important behind. What if your entire family was forgotten? Things may have seemed that way for Bethlehem. The prophet Micah had made a really big deal out of the role that they would play in the Messiah's life. I wonder if anyone still believed it after all those years had passed. Did a group of old timers sit by the city gate every morning swapping news and guessing when their time would come? Or did they feel forgotten? Christmas showed them God had a plan for the little overlooked town all along in a place that may have felt forgotten the savior of the world was born. God's plan of redemption, it was working. Have you ever felt forgotten? Maybe you were passed over for a raise or something entirely different happened. It's not a great feeling to be ignored. God didn't forget the role Bethlehem would play. and God hasn't forgotten you either. It may seem like it sometimes, but it's not true. Christmas was a new thing taking place in Bethlehem. Jesus had come. The King of Kings came home. The people long forgotten became ground zero for God's greatest plan. Maybe you've been praying about something for a while and it just seems like God forgot about you. He didn't. In fact, no matter what answer God gave you, know this, you are ground zero for the plan and the purpose that God has for you. No one else can be. It's your life. It's your purpose. And it matters to God. It matters so much that Jesus came for you. You are not forgotten, but you might be waiting. Christmas is coming. Here's my challenge for you today. If you find yourself in some kind of line, a waiting room, or in some situation requiring patience, take a moment to talk to God about what you've been waiting on from Him. Hey, thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe, maybe to help share this content with more people. And if you've really been enjoying the videos, it's not too late to order my brand new book, The Christmas Trail Guide for gifts for your loved ones for next year. Hey, I'll see you right back here tomorrow as we wrap this up. Day 25. Merry Christmas.